Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we'll be covering about the differences between the two types of testing. So many a times when people are going for manual testing job opportunities, they might get this interview question. What is the difference between the ad hoc testing and the exploratory testing? So having said that, we'll be looking into the answer of this question and we'll be continuing with the testing fundamentals playlist today as well. So both are informal testing types okay whether it's ad hoc or whether it's exploratory but by the end of this video you'll get a very clear clarity that what is the difference between the two if you are getting the question in an interview that uh, you don't have any documentation you don't have uh, any frd any brd then what are you going to do so in that case which testing will you perform so either you can go for exploratory testing or you can go for ad hoc testing but the advantage of exploratory testing is more compared to ad hoc testing why so so we'll be seeing this particular document so here is a document that i have created with respect to the difference between the two and we'll be seeing the various uh, points that in which we'll be covering what is exploratory testing and what is ad hoc testing so let's say if you are doing exploratory testing so uh, one of the scenario is you are testing a new e-commerce website's checkout process. Now the checkout process is new. You don't have any documentation. You don't have any user story. You don't have any requirement. So what you would do is you would create a charter. You'll create a charter and you'll uh, you'll come up with a learning phase. So what you will do as it's an e-commerce website, so you will go through the various e-commerce websites such as Flipkart is there, Amazon is there, Misho.com is there, and you will identify how the checkout processes are working in that particular websites. Accordingly, you will learn those aspects and then you will implement into your testing. Then comes testing design and execution. So tester begins the testing by adding items to the card, proceeding to the checkout. They explore different pay payment options such as credit card, payment, PayPal, gift cards, then the tester will be trying to apply various discount codes, including valid, expired, and invalid codes. Then they intentionally make mistakes and they enter an incorrect CVV number. So what we are doing here is we are doing negative testing as well. Or you will be testing with an expired card to see how the system is handling error. So such kind of things you would be testing. These are high level scenarios. And next is documentation. It is very important that you are documenting these things. So this documentation is covered in exploratory testing. Whatever the behavior you have captured, whatever the behavior you have understood, the flow of the functionality, we would be trying to put in the documents with specific steps, with uh, uh, kind of uh, descriptions that what was the issue that you had found, what are the flows, so that any other team members are there, they are also able to understand the flow accordingly. Adaptive testing. So based on findings, the tester may adjust their approach, exploring new areas or repeating certain steps. For example, you have found some issue. So you know it's a potential issue. You'll get it fixed. Again, you will reproduce that particular issue. You'll get it fixed. You will retest it and you will make sure that it is fixed. It is very important that you understand the scope of the issues. What is the severity? What is the priority? And what is the objective behind getting that issue fixed? So outcome is the tester discovers that expired discount codes do not display an appropriate error message, which is document and report it for fixing. So if the expired discount code is not working, you came to know, okay, then what you would do is you will check on another website as well and you'll come to know, okay, the validation message is for coming, the error message was coming. So same thing you will implement here. Now, considering the same thing with respect to ad hoc testing. So these were a few of the pointers with respect to exploratory testing. And now we'll see the ad hoc testing as well. So in ad hoc testing, let's take a scenario for testing a new implemented search feature on a blog or website. So here the process is you don't have any planning. You are just directly jumping to the testing. It's a random testing. So you'll be testing it uh, by entering some keywords, by entering some search by entering some uh, alphanumeric, numeric characters, special characters, and then you'll try, you'll test it with various scenarios. What is the response? What is the result that you are getting with long search options that you are searching with short search options? If you are having blank space, those kind of things, minimal documentation, this is more 
informal compared to exploratory. So you don't have any documentation, just a quick screenshot or a note with no detailed document of steps as well. But generally what happens in, in ad hoc testing also, if uh, let's say if any new junior member has come up, has joined the team and uh, he is not having an idea. So the senior members will tell them that you at least write some steps. In ad hoc testing, they will have very minimal steps. Okay, so outcome is that you have got the result, but it's it's a kind of an informal report that you are sharing with your development team or with the stakeholders as well. Now, what is the summary of the differences? So we saw what is exploratory testing. We discussed various points in that, whether we have a learning curve, what would be the approach, how would be the test scenarios planned, would there be a documentation or not? And then we saw the same pointers for ad hoc testing. Now, just highlighting here the summary of the differences between the two. So one is structured and intent. So exploratory testing is more structured, right? You are going for a proper documentation. You are sharing your findings in a formal manner. In ad hoc testing, it is not like that. You are jumping to the testing with no structured plan, with no process, and you are just trying to identify the issues without much of the detailed documentation. With respect to learning and adaptation, yes, the exploratory tester is able to learn more because he's exploring the application. He is adapting his testing with respect to the findings that he is getting and he's then creating a report. Whereas in ad hoc testing, what is happening? It is just his intuition, just his experience. Let's say if an ad hoc testing is done by four years of experience person or five years of experience person, or it is done by very junior level of person, you cannot get so much of, uh, I would say the uh, good report or productive report if such people are doing ad hoc testing because you need to know the softwares you need to have a good domain knowledge then on then only your ad hoc testing would be productive enough would be useful enough then documentation so in exploratory testing you have detailed documentation of each step issue and context whereas in ad hoc testing it is not there so exploratory testing is more systematic it is iterative whereas ad hoc testing is more of a spontaneous and it is informal so this was the difference between the two exploratory testing and ad hoc testing this is again from last two or three interviews people have started getting these questions as well generally people tell ad hoc testing i'll do exploratory testing if no requirement which one is good which one is having more advantage compared to the two that is very important so this was a video made out of that and I'll be sharing this document on the top mate. Again, it would be a free of cost document product. You don't have to pay anything. I'll be trying to put the comment, uh, the link of this uh, document in the comment section of the video as well. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.